Blue Bunting did at Newmarket was lovely to watch, but at uh, Epsom, you've got to decide for yourself whether to write it off or not. She should have finished third. She didn't. She finished fourth. She pulled really hard early on. Um, I don't know. I, I, she's, she's not my choice of the winner. She's 100 to 30. Four goes into uh, stall number nine. Here's Tony. Ready and rolling in the Dali Irish Oaks. And uh, in the early stages is a race down towards the uh, end of the first furlong. Dancing rain up there, room on the outside, Ban Emperor just in behind them. And uh, racing on now towards the end of the first furlong. Amazing Beauty's moved up on the outside to show just in front, Hurricane Havoc there on the inside room, just behind him, and then Dancing Rain. Ban Emperor is next, followed by Wonder of Wonders. They're followed by Blue Bunting towards the inside. As they complete the first couple of furlongs and Hurricane Havoc on the inside of Amazing Beauty. Then the big nose band of Room towards the outside. Dancing Rain, the Epsom Oaks winner, is next in the green and red. Ban Emperor behind her, followed by Wonder of Wonders. Laughing Lashes is further back. Then Blue Bunting towards the rear. And last of all at this stage is Gemstone as they go on past the nine furlong pole. Hurricane Havoc on the rail alongside his amazing beauty. Room is a couple of lengths off them. Then there's a break to Dancing Rain and Johnny Murta, followed by Ban Emperor towards the inside. Wonder of Wonders, the favourite, is next, followed by Blue Bunting and Laughing Laughs. And bringing up the rear is Gemstone as they race up the hill towards the halfway stage. Amazing beauty on the outside of Hurricane Havoc. Three lengths off them is Room, a break of a good six to Dancing Rain, then Ban Emperor, followed by Wonder of Wonders and Blue Bunting as they race along the top of the course now. Hurricane Havoc on the inside. Amazing Beauty's come under pressure. Room sits three lengths off them. Six lengths away, Dancing Rain. Ban Emperor, Wonder of Wonders, then Blue Bunting. Alongside Blue Bunting is Laughing Lashes as they begin the descent towards the straight. Hurricane Havoc, Room moves up on the outside of Amazing Beauty. Then the main group headed by Dancing Rain and four. Ban Emperor, five. Around the outside, Wonder of Wonders. Blue Bunting towards the inner. Then Laughing Lashes as they run down the hill and make the turn into the straight. Room Room takes it up from Hurricane Havoc. Dancing Rain closes with Ban Emperor. Then Wonder of Wonders coming there on the outside. Blue Bunting also making ground. As is Laughing Lashes and then Gemstone as they straighten up. Three to go. Dancing Rain. Wonder of Wonders the near side. Ban Emperor between them. Laughing Lashes extreme right. Blue Bunting in behind them in the blue colours. Racing now inside the last two furlongs. Wonder of Wonders and Ban Emperor from Laughing Lashes. Dancing Rain on the inside. Behind these is Blue Bunting as they race towards the final furlong. Now Ban Emperor on the far side. Wonder of Wonders in the centre, Laughing Lashes near side, inside the final furlong now, and it's Ban Emperor, Wonder of Wonders and Laughing Lashes, the three-way go, Blue Bunting flag on the outside as he race towards the line, Ban Emperor on the inside, Ban Emperor on the inside, Blue Bunting on the near side, desperately close between them, Wonder of Wonders, Laughing Lashes, Dancing Rain, Gemstone, Clear of Room, Hurricane Havoc and Amazing Beauty and... Uh, Blue Bunting and Frankie de Torre, they came up the centre of the track with a storming run and they might just have pinched it. <coughs> on the near side, looks as if they've got there from Ban Emperor on the far side, Wonder of Wonders in third, and Laughing Lashes in fourth. Frankie is hard at work in the blue, right behind Laughing Lashes. Fanberry just drops his stick here, goes for a belt, and just loses it there. Whether it made a difference, it might have made a difference to third place, didn't make a difference to the winner. Now Frankie switches into his left hand and gets a great tune out of this old filly, not old filly, and she rallies really well. He's a great man, Frankie, in a situation like this. And the lads, no one has lost nothing, anything in defeat. The best filly won on the day, but she got a great ride off a of probably uh, one of the great jockeys of any era, but definitely of the modern era. He's a, a brilliant jockey, a bit of a showman, but a great jockey. Now there's the, there's your, your photograph, and that is a pretty, pretty short head. But it's a winning one. Spare a thought for Kevin Manning, though, uh, I thought. Frankie's very popular. He'll do one of his flying discounts here now.